All right, well, okay. Amanda, what we're going to do now is we're going to start your fitting as... All right, wait till Mike's ready. Oh. Cause are you going, Mike? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, Amanda, we're going to start a fitting for you. We're going to fit you with your new Imagine Premieres in the receiver and the canal style. That means the receiver is going to fit inside your ear canal. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do first is we're going to do a measurement of how this device is uh, measuring the output inside of your ear canal. I'm going to put this little thin tube inside of your ear canal. It may tickle just a little bit when I okay. put that in there, okay? Gonna make sure I get that five millimeters from the end of your tip of the receiver unit there. So I'm gonna hold that in there and we'll, we'll be good to go. I'm gonna have to do this. Okay. I know you wanna help. <laughs> Perfect. I'd be the first to tell you if it hurt because I'm wimpy that way. You would. Well, I don't hurt any of my patients. <laughs> Thousand pound horses don't hurt me, but these little things, for some reason. You'll probably pick up my second pass on here. There we go. That goes up and over, and that tickled. I feel it. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's like a little marker that we have on here to help me measure this. Okay, ready to go. Ready. You're going to hear a series of clicks and noises. What I want you to do is be as still and as quiet as possible while it makes the first measurement, okay? Okay. And for your hearing loss, we're going to choose occluded because we want to have the hearing system apply a little more low frequencies than we normally would traditionally with a receiver and the canal product is what you're wearing. Usually it's designed for high frequency hearing loss. Okay, perfect. There's your real ear measurement there. That's gonna help us program your hearing instrument properly. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna take off my programming hardware. I'm gonna put your mic covers back on. Just ask an off the record question. Is that much different than what you saw earlier? Um, that wasn't done on your hearing system. But it versus her original prescription. Um, I can't see that just yet. Okay. And, and when you do look at that Put talk, this on. Mm -hmm. Bill, when you do look at that talk about how real ear works, uh, how it can, can solve that mystery of that person who's never heard hearing aids quite the right way because their ear wasn't like the average ear that everything's based on. can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be off for a little bit. You just got to listen for me for a little bit because I don't wanna go to the next stage. Look I wanna really interesting. I wanna talk about this screen first. Okay. So that was great, Amanda. We just did the real ear measurement. What we did was we measured the output of the signal reaching your eardrum, and then we're gonna make a calculation based on your audiogram that's inside of my computer to do a prescriptive fit. Um, I gotta change that because Patty doesn't want us using prescriptive fit. Let so me start all over. Take two.
wow, Amanda, how did you like that realier process? Um, that realier process allowing us to measure the output of your ear canal. It's going to measure um, the sound traveling down your ear canal and um, we're going to use that data to um, work with your audiogram to program the hearing aid properly for your hearing loss. Sort of like dialing in your own prescription. And okay? it was so quick. It was so quick and easy. Um, this little black dotted line here that we see on the screen, mm -hmm. that's the average of most individuals ear canals but you see blue on this screen and you see that you're not average <laughs> I'm not okay average you're so unique you're unique that's your unique prescription for your hearing loss so you can see that we're going to apply the prescription differently from most average people that are out there without that bit of information without doing real ear right. we'd be guessing and guessing at your fitting Okay, we'd be going round and round trying to find the optimal fitting for you. The computer kind of took both of you and I out of the equation mm -hmm. to make this job a lot easier for us to get you on the journey to better hearing. It's fascinating. Okay, all right, there's going to be some more sounds coming through. I want you to be as still and as quiet as possible while those new sounds come through to you. And we're going to set the active um, feedback suppressor on the hearing system, which is our feedback canceller. It's going to measure the hearing system's ability to control feedback for us. Then it's going to best fit it and then uh, change the self-check for us to make sure everything is working fine on the device. And then we're into fitting the hearing instrument. You ready? Ready. Okay. Beautiful. It's all done. I can't believe it's so quick. How does my voice sound to you now? One, two, three, four, five. If you're listening to my voice and it's on a radio, would you turn my voice up or down or leave it alone? I would turn your voice up and I would turn the pool off a little the bit. Pool, the pool? Yes. Okay. Very loud. All right. Background so, noise is very loud. So you would turn my voice up? Yes. And if you're listening to my voice now and it's on a radio, would you turn my voice up or down or leave it alone at this point? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Say it again, please. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Considering there's a lot of wind here and a lot of activity, it's perfect. It sounds really good. Yes, okay, we'll set the wind algorithm a little differently um, so that when we're out here in the wind, typically we don't fit hearing aids out in the sun, but we took advantage of Southern California <laughs> weather. That's okay, good. all right. Um, And for the management of the wind, I just changed your wind algorithm. How does that sound to you now? Is that more manageable for Much you? Better. Much, Much better. Much better. We just made it a little bit more aggressive for us. And that's the nice thing about the um, sound classifiers on the hearing system. There are different levels of sound classification for the different sounds. So as you made that comment about the wind, I was able to go into the computer and tell the computer to do something differently um, with the wind or the turbulence of wind that's rushing across the twin microphone system that's on your device. Pulling Much that down better. in the background. Much better already. Okay. All right. Now, my voice is clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Can I ask you to count to five for me, please? One, two, three, four, five. Is your voice here, here, or here? Count to five again if you need to. One, two, three, four, five. It's right here. Oh, happy day. That's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Straight out in front. We're done, ready to go. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. All. But actually, we're going to do some more things. I was just teasing you, but <laughs> that's where the voice needs to be right there, straight out in front. If my voice is clear and your voice is straight out in front, mm -hmm. then you are ready and charged to go live life out there. Fantastic. Okay? 
All right, let's do some other parameter settings. I wanna make sure that everything is set properly. We've got a device called speech mapping. These are, these are equipment that we put inside the hearing system. You walk away with that inside of your hearing system. The real ear system is in your hearing system. It's not in my computer. It's actually in the device that we made for you. The speech mapping system is going to allow us to see a visual image of my voice and then I'll be able to see how well the hearing it is performing to meet the amplification to make my voice more audible for you. That's what speech mapping is going to allow us to do. So we're gonna do that real quick here. So I'm gonna go here to our speech mapping screen and see the red and blue colors bars that are dancing on the screen? Yes. Well, the right side is in red, the left side is in blue. Yes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell the computer to track my voice for a few seconds here. I'm gonna click on this camera right here. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. And see that new black line that showed up on yes. the screen there? That's my speech map. That could have been your spouse's voice that I could have mapped. So anytime that my patient would tell me that, you know, my hearing aid is not allowing me to hear my spouse, I can have your spouse come in, map their voice, and then adjust the hearing system in real time so that your spouse's voice, the most precious voice, is audible to you. Well, when I Isn't get one neat? of those, we'll do that. Well, okay, when you do that. <laughs> or it could be your son. Could of be course. your son. Could be your son. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you what benefit you're getting from the hearing system. So when you're not wearing your hearing instruments, everything that's in yellow is what's not going to be available to you. What's in red and blue is just the input of my voice. And you can see that the yellow part of the screen reaching into the black shaded area for the speech map is visibly showing us the amplification and the benefit of hearing that these hearing aids are providing for you. So you can see that clearly that the yellow bars are touching and into the shaded hearing area there. Hearing is golden. Hearing it's is golden. Yellow, it's oh, golden. golden. You're right. I'll, ch I'll change Very that. Very true. That looks golden hearing it's right golden there. Golden hearing. Okay. So that's another tool that we use within this Imagine Premier hearing system to allow us to make sure that we're doing the best possible job for all of our patients. Just all of these little tools that are available to us um, in the hearing system. Fantastic. Your hearing system has a data log. So as you go out into the world, rather than have you take a diary with you, the hearing aid's gonna track all of the different sounds that you get into, whether you're in quiet environments, whether you're in noisy environments, whether you're in a combination of these different environments, the computer's gonna track that information for me. It's also gonna track which memory you're in. This is a four memory device. We can have four different prescriptions in one hearing aid. So you can comfortably go from four different environments that are distinctly different from each other and still have audibility. Be able to hear in those different environments comfortably. So we're gonna set those next, but I wanted to show you what the data log is. Now mind you, the data log is not gonna track your location. So your son or that future boyfriend or husband is not gonna be able to find right. you, okay? Okay. All right, okay. definitely golden it just it, it in front of you makes you realize how much you missed I mean you already know how much you missed because I live it yes but it's amazing amazing to visually is. see yeah. what's going on it with is. that okay so if memory number one is the what? there's a hum it's that wee air conditioner right there yeah. yeah, it just popped it's, it's, on. It's really coming through. All right, well, well that's okay, probably so we're done. enough. I think we got a lot because okay. we already did the first part. The yeah, we did the that other part. part of it. Uh, but but yeah. can you fix them? <laughs> um, <laughs> or are they still programmed nope, to what you did before? They're still pro no, they're programmed. One, two, three, four. They're programmed right. Not yet.
guys talk? Talk amongst yourselves. Talks amongst ourselves. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just checking the lights on now. My intern is doing better. Um, so, are you sure they're Sony? What, what are they? I think they are. They are? They either, what's the next best brand? They were, they were $7,000 cameras. I just hit two and three. Okay. Yeah. One. Did you get that, Mike? Mm hmm. Do you want me to turn all the way around? I mean, I have that in my video already. But, see, we're not, I mean, I need to get the other one tomorrow, right? Well, but, we can reprogram the other ones. We've got to remake them. Uh, they sit in your storage room? That's crazy. We, in our videos, I mean, I have two, but have, I only brought one. What he was one. talking about was uh, the Enneagram. We have the Enneagram. One of our customers did that. Where we got the different types. There's nine different styles, got those types of them. But Chad would produce the video, wouldn't have the person head go, oh, there's other things we can do, and other things that have to do. And so now they're that since, is they've been since crazy. gone. That's crazy. But we, we were now, I don't have sound on any of this, right? This yes, is just, you do. Oh, I do. Let's, so let's do a little QA. Okay. Um, you should see bars on the, this side right here. Okay. You see bars going right now? Yeah. We have sound. Okay. Trust me. Very good. <laughs> Amanda. Yes. You having dinner tonight uh, in a nice Italian restaurant here in Very the nice. uh, Bay Area. Yes. Um, some adjustments were made to your hearing aids today. When you started the day, you were hearing one way and now you're ending it hearing another. Can you yes. describe the difference? What? What changed and, and, and how is it different in this environment and the other environments you've been in today? Well, the problem I had was that when I was in an environment with too much outside noise, it was overpowering somebody's speech. So I really was having a lot of difficulty, you know, kind of moderating between the loud noises and the speech. And then today, after having the adjustment with Bill, uh, now I am clearly hearing him, who is actually a low tone, which is my nemesis of hearing, and yet there's so much activity here between the kitchen being here with the plates and the uh, accompanying table members, and I can hear their conversations and I concentrate, but just in our, our social setting, it's absolutely perfect, and I'm not having to adjust. I want to stop for one reason. As you're talking and moving, our pussy willows up here are are making shadows on your face. Can we move them? Can you reach up and... and, and I don't think so. Come on, we can do something, Bill. What about if I Reach up over? and... Yeah, slide over that way. Okay. Much better. Is that oh, better? Oh, a thousand percent. Oh my gosh. And, <gasps> look, it's dessert. <laughs> okay. okay. So, um, you can just start um, again. With? How was, how was tonight different than when you were wearing them this morning? Well, this What's morning, changed? this morning with the hearing aids, the, the setting I had, um, I was having a difficulty with the outside noise or the ambiance noise or uh, streets, sounds on television, as opposed to hearing the voice of whether I'm speaking one-on-one -on -one or whether it be a TV voice over the uh, music. So I had an adjustment with Bill and now I'm having a much better time hearing the sounds around me, but they're not overpowering the actual person I'm trying to listen to. And then, as I said, Bill's voice is my nemesis, which is the low tone. And I'm having absolutely no trouble hearing him at all. And that makes me very happy because I can still hear the plates and the clanging and I can hear the person over there if I choose to, but it's not overpowering my senses. Tell me about the beach. You guys went down to the beach today. What was it like to be in that environment? Because you live in Florida, you live right on the beach. What yeah, was it I like? One of the best things is that when it's powering with wind, it doesn't have the whistling noise, and I'm very thankful for that because that's very annoying. Um, having it overpower you, uh, background noise, I guess. Is what I there's the phone. 
phone. <laughs> and hammering Mike on the phone is very overpowering. Take, hit the record, hit the record off. Oh, oh you stopped yours. Okay. okay. Um, so you went down to the beach today. We did. The beach was fantastic. And actually, I live very close to the beach, and it's an important part of my life. But I don't like to have the whistling. Um, it's as annoying as putting a phone or hugging someone and that uh, that's annoying whistling sound that you hear. With my adjustments and with my hearing aids from New Year, I, I don't have that. And that makes me very happy. Fantastic. Have you had a chance to be on the phone much with these? Um, honestly, I can say no with the new adjustments. But um, with, with this style, mm -hmm. I never have any troubles. And I don't want to say anymore because I can't say anything positive about because of our fitting. So okay. All right. We'll go forward on that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the time we've known each other and the work we've done together. Yes. Um, um, well, I met Mike at, at the races, which is my life and passion. And he also has a passion for racing. And together, uh, we discovered some similarities about each other. Um, he's a big racing fan, and it's been my life, my lifestyle, and my livelihood for a long time. And when he told me what he does, um, I was a serious candidate for his friendship, as he was for mine. And he's helped me have a much better life, because now that I have been fitted with the New Year product, my life is definitely change for the better um, with the involvement with communications which is my degree and my lifestyle on all levels just being able to hear people uh, being confident to do the job that I know that I'm good at and to perform it at the right level uh, it's taken me to where I need to be with the New York products how do you feel as far as New Year as a company or so if, if you were speaking to business owners who were looking at going into business with New Air, how do you feel about our company? I think the New Air company in general, I've met some fantastic people on my trip here to California. Uh, first time I've been amongst the distributors and the customers and the professionals and experts. And by far, it exceeds anything I've ever been involved in. The products and the service, I think, is the most important thing because not only are they professionally trained, but they're also courteous and they really want to get they it done. Get the phone. Right? They really want to get the phone. <laughs> He's always on the phone. <laughs> I'm... Okay, let me turn it off. And I can't say anything.